Welcome back to Keras Investment, where investments are made simple, guys. On this channel, we bring live trades to you to let you see what's going on in the market and help you to make a great decision. Now, we're not telling you to buy any stock we post. We're only sharing the stocks that we're investing in. And if you like what we're doing, definitely you understand where we're coming from. Now, we're looking at CureVac. In the last 24 hours, we can see the stock rides down about 50%. Now, I post a video in the aftermarket yesterday, which is June 16, at $49. I said, I'm going in. It's a great opportunity to make some fast money. Now, I call a few friends as well, and I let them know, wait for the morning to open, and then they can go in if they feel more comfortable. Great thing they did. The stock went down right below 48, but then it goes up, and we're able to sell all of us. Basically, I tell them, if it crosses $56 per share, we want to sell, and then we want to buy back in. Now, we saw the stock goes down in the morning. All right, goes down in the low 47s. Then we saw it climbs back up, breaks over $56.80. No, I get out at $56. I didn't care how much more I made, but I got out at $56. And I encourage anyone that invested in the stock to consider at some point, where do you want to exit? Now, if you're planning to wait for a rebound for a total recovery, that's fine as well. That's totally up to you. You have to understand the risk that you're willing to take. If you're looking for a short-term profit, like a small recovery in say 10 to 20%, then this is a perfect this is a perfect point to exit, anywhere between 54 to 56, where I did. Now I did a small um profit. Now I personally went in and I bought a thousand shares. Right? I bought a thousand shares at 49.20. So I spent just around 49. 1200 only because I know, listen, it's a risk, but I'm willing to risk it until today to see where the market goes. Because I understand once the market opens, it's going to go frenzy. Some people are going to sell, some people are going to buy. The market is going to go crazy. Now, fortunate for me, I was able to cap out and sell at $56 per share. So I made just around, just around 6800 in 24 hours. And a stock that I wasn't even sure that I was going to buy, but I bought it because I want to take a small risk which works out fine for me. Guys, keep in mind, the stock already dropped 50%. So if I'm going in at 50% mark, I'm pretty comfortable. The company is not dead. It's a small step back in terms of the result in the COVID vaccine and the effectiveness of it. Doesn't mean that the company is going bankrupt. They're still at a subject that needs to get uh, to show results. So the, that number may increase as well as that number may decrease. It's a risk that you have to decide. Now, if you tell me if I make... If I make 68 hours and 24 hours in one trade, if I convert it to Canadian dollars, that's $8,000. One trade, $8,000 one day. Like what job do you make $8,000 per day in a trade that took me just one minute to buy and takes me one hour to watch the market in the morning and sell? I say this is a perfect opportunity. Market open at 9.30. I sell just after 10.30. So basically one hour of work pays me $8,000. It's a no-brainer. So again, I'm not telling you guys to hold on longer than you should. You have to make that decision. I personally got out at 56. I am not going to edit this video. I will post it right away to let you know. If you know where the company is coming from, you can see it was well traded in the high uh, 110, 120. We saw it a few times in the 80s and 90s, but now because of the result, we saw a pullback. Now I am thinking, um, I'm thinking two different ways. The profit that I have. I'm thinking if the stock drops back below in the, say below 50 or 52, I'm thinking just to use the profit and invest back in the company, buy 136 shares and hold it long term and see if it ever goes back to $100. If it ever goes back to $100, then again, I made another small profit. Guys, it is as simple as it looks. Take a risk if it's, if it's within your budget, if you can afford to take that risk. Not everyone are in the same situation. If you could buy one share, you buy one share. If you could buy 10 shares, you buy 10 shares, right? At the price right now, 10 shares is around $500, right? So if it goes to $100 in price, okay, that investment goes to $1,000. So you have to know your situation, how much shares you want to buy. But I'm not here to tell you guys to buy, 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 and to put yourself in any greater risk. Now, as usual, do your research um, before you make this investment. Always do research to make sure that you know what you're doing. Uh, the channel is not responsible for any loss. It is a risky trade at this point. But for me personally, it's not really a risk for me. It's investment. It's the, it's the stock market. When people sell is when I buy. 
in nine out of 10 times it works that one time it may not and this time was not one of that one time now if you like what you just hear please do some research if you think about going into the trade try to get it at a lower price if it could pull back i would say in the 49 or 50 dollars 52 that's a better mark to sit with for a while i expect the stock to slowly make its way back up in the next coming weeks but no one knows it could work its way back as well that stock market and that's just the way it is so if you are into this trade right now please consider a point where you want to exit or if you want to take a small profit and wait long term to gain more profits or if you want to take a profit sit on the sideline wait until it drops and rebuy or if you want to buy now and just wait totally up to you guys so if you like the content as usual guys please leave a like leave a comment let me know what you're doing like share and subscribe as always and until next time peace out